This morning on The Dish, a woman whose life changed through the simple act of baking a cake for a co-worker's birthday. Jocelyn Delk Adams didn't know it at the time, but within a decade, tens of thousands would be searching the internet for her recipes for all types of food. Janet Chamlian takes us to her Texas kitchen for the story of an unusual culinary career. There we go. You won't find Jocelyn Delk Adams in the commercial kitchen of a trendy restaurant. It's hot. She serves up food and inspiration from her Dallas area home. Come on in, come on in. It's time to be cooking. With hundreds of videos. These are the absolute best brownies. And thousands of views across social media. Who doesn't love chicken and dumplings? She's an author. My new cookbook, Everyday Grand, y'all. And television personality. So we're gonna add so this put right this in. in. Put yeah, it like we're that. gonna let that this go is, right okay, into our the sauce. Loosening up? Uh, yeah, loosening up a little bit. But it wasn't, she told me, a career she'd even thought about. Until she baked a pound cake for a co-worker's birthday. At the time, she wasn't doing this. Instead, working in marketing for a magazine. Everyone was talking about it. They were like, um, can I pay $20 to make another pound cake for so-and-so's birthday next week? And I was like, sure. What was going through your head when you were sort of doing this on the side? I completely fell into it. Inspired by her grandmother's recipes, she started a food blog called Grand Baby Cakes. Then she tried her hand at a basic cooking video. Hey everyone, this is Jocelyn coming from the Grand Baby Cakes blog, and today I am joined with my grandmother, Big Mama Maggie, from Winona, Mississippi. Oh, I started with 20, 30 views a month. That, was, like, that was my family, mm -hmm. period. Those were the only people that knew about my website. And for some reason, I was like, just keep going. Let's just see what happens. I continue to put content on the website. Tutorials of her take on Southern classics. Enchiladas made of ancho turkey and mustard greens. I so can it, taste the yes, mustard Yes, you can greens. taste the mustard greens. So it's almost like if you added like spinach to your enchiladas, but I gave this a Southern twist. A staple of her family holidays, collard greens. This is one of those classics I wanted to remain that way. This is my mama's collard greens. It is a serious crime that people in some parts of the country have never had this. Right? <laughs> what she calls the ultimate mac and cheese. This one took a lot of effort. It looks like you cut me like a very small piece here. I, I, I know. <laughs> I actually should have just put the casserole right in front of you. Cornbread. So this one is a brown butter honey chow. And of course, a big old Southern dessert. Usually more than one. I know dessert is the last part of a meal, but for you, it was the start. Yes, yes. And so this one, this one is so fun. Um, this is a praline sweet potato pound cake. Do you have a to-go container? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a streusel in the center, so you get a little bit more. Oh, I better go right to the center. Go don't right you, to the center, right? Her pound cake such a hit. This rich buttery cinnamon roll pound cake is handmade. With William Sonoma teamed up with her to sell them. Hello, oh look, people are joining us. But it's fan feedback that means the most. I get tagged on photos, I get tagged on videos of people who are making my recipes for birthday parties, everything. They even have their kids in the kitchen cooking and baking these recipes. As she does with her own daughter, Harmony. Okay, so now you wanna, you wanna mix this together? I'm just gonna have to start. Often. A family affair. <laughs> Would you like to add this little green pepper? Like the, in there. the goal is to make baking and cooking fun. And she insisted to me, anyone can do it. And then we're just gonna go around the cake, like just let it naturally fall down the sides. My effort wasn't quite as pretty. Like, it you tastes know, the same. It tastes the same. You know, this is not a baking okay. contest on TV. Like, we just well, want to eat it, right? Like one we want to eat it. <laughs> Jocelyn Delk Adams has come a long way from that co worker's birthday cake. Her passion is now her career. What would you say to someone whose dream is this and they're doing something that isn't this right now? Take the leap. Take the leap. You know, I was 
you know, not following the rule where they're like, before you quit a job, you need to have like three months savings. I threw all of that out the window. I was just like, I'm just gonna go after it. You believed in yourself. I bet on myself. I bet on myself, 100%. One, One two, two, three. three. Give it some heft. More than a gamble. You might call that a safe investment. Oh! <laughs> With odds that have paid off. High five, you did it. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Janet Shamlian. That's pretty beautiful. You did a great job. Janet, I saw Good that. job, Janet. Oh my God. By the way, I couldn't wait. I had to bite into it. It is I'm so, so good. And she's right. Just take that leap. Don't oh wait. God. What do we have in front Don't of us Don't wait. Again? We've oh. got um, the sweet potato.